I am doing a Monday live video every Monday now at 3 p.m. Pacific time and 6 p.m. your time, or your time. If you're on the East Coast, that's your time. So the topic for today is the best tip for consistency. I'm sure you saw that I put up a post today and I was talking about how important it is to be consistent with your workouts. And it doesn't mean that you have to be doing some kind of crazy intense hour long workout every single day. It just means that if you're going to do something, do it often and it can be something small and something shorter. Um, I created a nine minute workouts challenge for, it's 28 days long and we're on our 22nd day today. So every day I put up a nine minute workout video, something that's so simple and so fast that you can do it in an instant. And you know, you wake up, you do your workout and then you go about your day and you're burning fat. So it's way more important to do something short consistently on a daily basis than it is to do something really long and really intense infrequently. So hopefully that makes sense to you, but just like anything else in life, whatever you're with, whatever you do consistently is what you end up getting a result from. Isn't that true with anything you've ever done with relationships, with friendships, with um, your work, with making money, with everything, everything. It's you, consistency is the most important thing. So today I'm bringing you tips or the best tip to be consistent. So the, you might've read my post and been like, cool, that makes a lot of sense. But then you might've been like, well, how do I get started? How do I begin being consistent? Well, the best tip in the world is to have your mindset on point. Yes, have the power of your mind. I call this your two M's in my courses. It's your mood and your mindset. And when you have control over your mood and your mindset, you can literally live the most abundant, successful, happiest life ever. Because the key here is, when you fall out of a happy place and you stay out of a happy place, it's because you're not using your mind. You know, you're just letting your mind control you instead of controlling your own mind. So when you let your mind control you, it's like you start to spin in this cycle of why did that happen? Or I can't believe that person did this to me. Or, you know, he said this, or she made me feel that way. Or he did this to me. We're starting to place all these mindset, blame, thoughts, words, actions on everybody else around us instead of just controlling our mind and saying, hey, wait a second, I feel really shitty right now, but I have control over this. So let me use my tools. Let me figure out exactly what I need to do right now and let me shift back into a good place where I can find the joy in everything I'm doing. Because that's really the key to success and happiness is finding joy in everything. In You know the word enjoy? We're enjoying and we're being in joy. So if you can be in joy no matter what you do, you're living a great life and I can guarantee you you're having a lot of fun and a lot of success is coming to you because from that place, you're really just drawing in good stuff. When you're not in joy, people can sense it, people can feel it, and the things you want kind of separate themselves from you. How does this apply to your workout? Well, the key is you take this and you shift your mood and your mindset about fitness, about healthy food. So think about somebody in your life who has always consistently eaten well. And uh, it might be the same person or another person, somebody who's always consistently been physically active. They are just an active person. They're always working out. They're always doing something. They have a specific mindset about food and about working out, and that really benefits them a lot. Um, and it's the mindset that it's a good thing, right? So. Our minds naturally shift us out of anything that is not good feeling. 
and we're always seeking the best feeling that we can have in the moment. And a lot of times that's where we get confused because if you're making a food decision and you're faced with, should I get a salad with all these nutrients and healthy things? Or should I get a piece of pizza that looks really delicious? In the moment, if you're experiencing any kind of emotional or mental feelings of not being enough or needing a little love or satisfaction or being needing to be taken care of or comfort or any of these things, our mind's gonna say, that pizza is gonna give me the comfort that I need, so I want that. I wanna eat that. It's because we've associated comfort with certain foods. But let me give you a perspective shift. What if your comfort foods were nourishing, healthy foods like salads? What if your comfort was being active. What if when you didn't feel good, you immediately shifted yourself and said, you know what makes me feel amazing? Moving. And don't overwhelm yourself by being like, I know I feel good when I work out, so I gotta do, I gotta go to the gym and do like a full workout, like a full hour and just be dripping sweat and leave and then I'll know, then I'll feel better. Not exactly. Why don't you just bargain with yourself and give yourself something that's doable, feasible, especially in that moment where you might not feel your best, do something that really does feel good. So like just say, can I just go outside for a five minute walk? Can I just go to the gym for five minutes? Just do a little cardio or something, see how I feel. I can promise you that when you do that, you'll be in such a good headspace that you're gonna wanna do more than just the five minutes, right? So I see a couple comments coming in and I'm gonna read them because every time I do these shows on a Monday, I always wanna hear from you. So if you have questions, please ask, ask, ask away. That's what I'm here for. Um, and I'm gonna have a new topic all the time. So if you have suggestions on topics, that's good too. Um, so I'm reading Mike's comment. Good tips for me. I always cave saying tomorrow. Yeah, I know, isn't that like, that's such a common thing, the tomorrow thing. That's, yeah, it's really easy to say, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll get to it later, there'll be a better time, today's not that good, but you know, maybe in a week, I'll get to it. No, the right time is always right now, but here's why you don't do it, Mike. Here's why you put it off, and this is coming from somebody who used to do that a lot, and that's why I know. You're putting it off because you're biting off more than you can chew. Right? I always use this analogy of a huge mountain that we're trying to climb and you look to the top of the mountain and you're like, damn, that mountain is high. I do not know how I'm going to get there. Um, I don't even know where to start. So I don't even feel like starting. You know, I'm just not going to. But here's the truth of it. If you just said, what can I do right now? How can I just start? Just get started to move up to the top of the mountain, you just go, okay, you know what? I can take a step with my right foot. Okay, that felt fine. I can take a step with my left foot. Okay, cool, I did that, that was, I could do that. Let me take a step with my right foot again. And then before you know it, you look up and you're at the top of the mountain and you've achieved what you wanted, you've accomplished it, you've gotten the result that you're desiring, and it's all because you just took baby steps, man manageable things that you knew you could do. You weren't like, let me just go charging up to the top of the mountain full speed because you knew in your brain, that's hard to do, I don't want to, I don't know if I'll make it. All these things start coming up, all these thoughts. And thoughts are what happen to stop us from achieving the things that we want most in life. So just er, bypass the thoughts and just Stay in the good space of like, what can I do right now? What's manageable? What's easy? Because there's this thing called the compound effect and it adds up. The compound effect is when you do one thing consistently over and 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 it adds up and then all of a sudden you have this huge, amazing result and you only just took baby steps every day. That's the key reason that I started a nine minute workout program. My workouts have always been short. As you guys know, when I do a program or a course, the workouts are like 32 minutes, right? They're fast and they're super effective. But I was like, 
some people don't have time to start with 32 minutes. And what can we do then? We could do nine minutes. Nine minutes is doable, right? Anybody could wake up nine minutes earlier in the morning and just start working out and do it for nine minutes and then go about their day, right? It's not this huge chunk. It's not like, oh, I gotta like somehow find an extra hour in the day today to do a workout. When you think like that, usually the workout doesn't happen, right? So, but if you were like, I gotta find an extra nine minutes, you can do that. You can do that on your lunch break. You could wake up nine minutes earlier. It's possible. And just for the result you get, it's so worth it. So I'm gonna read a couple more comments here. Um, Mike says, I don't pre prepare good food enough. Yeah, that's another one too. So prepping healthy food is another huge thing, but break it down into small manageable steps. So the food guides that I give in my courses or in the seven day starter program, they give you really small baby steps. So I've met so many people who have given up on food prep because they're like, it takes so long. It takes hours to prep food. And here's the thing. You don't have to do it so complicated. You can make it simple. Like hard boil like 10 eggs tonight while you're in the middle of watching TV or whatever you do in the evenings. Just put a, a thing of eggs on the stove and just hard boil them. Not complicated, already done, breakfast covered, snacks covered, boom, easy. So there's so many things like that are, that are just so simple. And if you wanna know more about what those recipes are, sign up for one of my courses, do the seven day starter, something like that. Um, I keep the recipes so freaking simple because I get that you're busy and you don't have time. And if you bite off a big thing, you're just not gonna ever do it again because it took too long and it was painful and it took, took away from your life. Do things that add to your life. The other thing that I do when I food prep, by the way, is I make my mind stronger and better. So I'll put on an audiobook. I'll put on a personal development training program. Uh, if you wanna learn a language, put on your language learning software while you cook your food. Um, listen to podcasts, listen to course videos that I've created for the program. There's a million things that you can listen to that are going to feed your mind positively instead of wasting time. Sometimes people think of it as wasting time when you're just cooking your food. So instead of wasting time, utilize your time properly so you're enjoying yourself while you do it, right? So the key to everything, the workouts and the food, the reason I made this video today, the best tip I can give you is shift your mind by doing something you love, by making health fun. Simple, right? That's it. Make it fun enough that you want to do it again. Make it fun enough that you keep doing it. Consistency is everything. You doing the workout, one time in a month or a week is not enough. And it doesn't have to be a huge hour long thing. Just do something. Here's the other thing too. A workout doesn't mean that you've got to do some kind of uh, crazy exercise routine. A workout can be you going for a hike. A workout can be you playing with your dog. A workout can be you playing with your kids. A workout is movement. Just move your body and do it consistently. And as you've probably noticed, there's a million different kinds of workouts and styles of workouts. Everything that you do shapes your body a little bit differently. So find a thing that you love to do that's gonna shape your body in the way you want it to shape it and do it often. Look at surfers. Surfers have a specific body type because they utilize certain muscles consistently over and over and over. Dancers. Dancer body has its own look because they do the same things over and over and over. The same stretches, the same movements. Um, a kickboxing body looks its own unique way because they keep moving certain muscles in a certain way consistently. And if you're like me, you can do a variety of all that stuff because you might think that everything is fun. 
And that's how I feel. So you'll see me one day, I'm doing a, a kickboxing class. The next day I'm doing bar class. The next day I'm doing a nine minute workout. The next day I'm doing super strength training or maybe for a full month you'll see me do strength training. And then the next month you'll see me do all yoga. I just mix it up because it's fun and I enjoy it. So do what's fun and then do what, take small baby steps. Okay, I'm gonna read some more comments here. Um, so Mike, thanks girl, love your show. Thank you, Mike, I'm glad you're here. So we're getting a lot of people joining. Does anybody have any questions on the topic? Precious, hi Precious. She says, Merry Christmas, both of you. Thank you, Merry Christmas to you too. I'll make sure I tell Josh. Um, Krista, hi Steph, I'm getting a puppy. Oh, she comes home later this week, Golden Retriever. Congratulations, that's so exciting. Oh, I look forward to when I have um, some animals. Right now, I'm, I made a pact with myself that I'm not getting any animals because I like to travel too much. So I don't want to worry about the, you know, where to keep them. But oh my gosh, there's going to be a day when I get pets and I get lots of pets because I love animals. Um, so with your golden retriever, I'm sure it's going to be so much fun to play with your puppy. And it's going to bring you so much joy. And there is, as I always say, fitness and food is 10% of weight loss. The other 90% is your mindset. And your mindset, a mindset of weight loss and a mindset of health is happiness and joy. And that puppy is going to bring you so much joy. Don't be surprised if you just miraculously lose a few pounds because you're happy. I'm not saying to everybody get a puppy to make you happy. What the key here is, is that you should make yourself happy. And then everything else externally can just add to that. But it's all about finding consistent happiness. This is the compound effect with your mind, consistency. So be consistent in keeping a happy mind and a happy heart, a happy life. And it's key that you really focus in on the things that make you the happiest and the, bring you the most joy. If you're somebody who is consistently overeating or binge eating, don't worry, I know what that's like. I do not go there anymore. Every once in a while it'll pop up, I'll be honest, it really does. But um, before it used to be a consistent thing on a daily or weekly basis, I would be binging on food to the point of like, I was like holding my stomach in pain because it hurt so bad, I would just stuff myself. But that is an unhappiness. It's, I wasn't being in joy. I wasn't, I wasn't, I was avoiding something. So when we stuff ourselves with food or alcohol or um, social, like binging on anything. You can binge on TV, you can binge on the internet, you can binge on food, drinks, uh, alcohol, uh, drugs. You can binge on a bunch of different things. I call these your AOAs, your areas of avoidance, the things you use to avoid an emotion or a feeling. So you can keep avoiding it, but it's gonna keep coming up. It's never gonna go away. The way that I got my um, binge eating and overeating to go away was I finally figured out the root of it, the key, what I really needed, and I gave that to myself in a way that wasn't seeking it from outside sources. And that's what my courses are all about, if you've ever done any of them. The Healthy Holiday Mindset course, there's one that's gonna come out soon that I'm really excited about, and it's fit to find love. And there's the Body Built by Love course. In all the courses, I'm always talking about how you can learn your mindset, your triggers, and the things that bubble up in you, and you wanna suppress them, but how to, instead of suppressing, bring them out, see them, understand them, know it's a trigger, and then move past it. So if it comes up for me now that I feel like I'm gonna binge eat or overeat, I'm like, hey, what's really going on? What am I really experiencing or feeling or what do I need? I know this trigger, I know how this happens, I know why and where it's coming from, and now I can go in and just say, is that really true? Nope, move it aside, 
let's carry on with their awesome day where you're eating things to nourish and to fill yourself with the highest nutrients for the best health. Because when you're coming from that space, that's a place of love where you're fulfilled and you're happy. And that is really the key thing to seek. So, okay. Christus is amen, sister. Woo! Yes. So that, uh, I'm excited for you, for you and your puppy. So does anybody have any questions on this topic? You know, this best key to feeling motivated and um, being able to work out consistently, eat healthy consistently, because the key here, it is the mindset. Your two M's, mood and mindset. When you can control your mood and your mindset, you can control anything. And you can find joy and happiness all the time, even if you get swung out of it. So this isn't like, I'm happy today, I'm unhappy tomorrow. It's like literally second by second all day long. I'm in a great mood, I woke up, I'm feeling amazing. I can't believe that guy just cut me off. I'm going into work, I like work, so work is fun. Oh my gosh, I just got an email from my boss and they told me I wasn't doing this well enough and look at the way that person just looked at me and oh my gosh, look at all this temptation and food. But, oh, you know, look at the, I went outside and look at the birds, it's beautiful and the sunshine. It's like, see what I mean? It's like every second you could be feeling something different. Like, it's not like you wake up feeling happy and you just have a whole happy day. Sometimes that does happen, but you go in and out, in and out, in and out. And certain people have things that will shift them back into happiness. And certain people have ways of just staying stuck in it and being there for a long time. So it's when they have, when you have control of your mood and your mindset, you can get drug into a bad feeling or a bad thought and you can see it and then move out of it back into joy. So that's the key. If you want extra guidance on it, check out any of my courses. The next course starting will be right in the beginning of January and it's fit to find love and it's gonna be awesome. I'll tell you more about it in a little bit. Um, and then we have a Body Built by Love course starting in March. So if you want guidance on any of those things, those are great places to start. I give you lots of exercises, not physical exercises, I give you those too, but um, I give you written exercises to find out more about your mindset and gain control of this stuff. And it's amazing because it's more than just improving your body. Your body will improve drastically, but it's gonna improve your relationships, it's gonna improve your career, it's gonna improve the amount of money you bring in. When you start to learn these things about your mind, I mean, it's like gold for a lifetime. This is like something that continues to just compound over your life and improve your life greatly. It's kind of like key information for a healthy, happy life. So I highly suggest it. It is amazing. But that's not what today's show is about. Today's show is all about just getting you the tools you need to be consistent. So I hope that was helpful. Um, we had some great questions. Thank you guys for tuning in and checking it out. And anybody watching this later, feel free to leave some comments and ask questions. And I'm going to be here next Monday at 3 p.m. Pacific time, 6 p.m. Eastern time. I'm going to be here every Monday for you guys and it's been a lot of fun. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, make sure you do that because I am constantly posting really cool recipes that are super healthy and really fun. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel where I'll put all these videos so you can watch them over and over. You can binge watch on the Monday show and check out my website, stephpendle.com. You are amazing and I am so glad that you're here. You're so worthy. You're a gift to the world. See you next Monday.